Okay, we're cooking with the uh, Farberware pressure cooker I got from Walmart. Uh, what I've done is uh, I browned this chicken at the color I want it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put these down, skin side down. I'm going to place these in the uh, cooker here. Then I'm going to take and use my spices, got some garlic salt, I just put a little bit of spice stuff in there, that's garlic salt, I got chicken, chicken seasoning, just put some in there, I like to use pinto seasoning, it's kind of a secret uh, seasoning that I use for all meats and chicken and it turns out really good. We just add a little bit of that in there. Then we finish it with garlic powder. Put that in there. Place my potatoes in there. Using the uh, red potatoes. Put one cup of water. And then some people use chicken broth. I don't have any chicken broth. So what I'm going to use is chicken noodle soup as my broth. Put that in there without the noodles. A little more dab of garlic powder. And what you do is you put this lid on here. You line it up here and you go to lock. Go to lock and plug it in. We have a, uh, I don't know what she did with it, but I have a cooking book that it came with and it told me that level six was uh, for chicken. So you're going to hit menu, PO1, you're going to hit chicken, and to do that, you know it's at level six. Two, three, four, five, six, and start. We're going to let this cook and uh, make sure that that is off the vent. There's a little deal right there that's for vent. You want to make sure that's off the vent. And that's what the uh, front of it looks like. And as you can see, the six is the chicken. It'll automatically time, and I'll show you as we uh, build up steam. Just want to show you it's 942. Here's the book I was telling you all about. Right there, you can read them uh, settings and what it's telling you. And what it's telling you is right here, this is the actual cook time. And then... Uh, that's the delay timer that you can set it for uh, prior to uh, starting. If you wanted to set this in the morning to start up in the evening. And uh, this is how long that it keeps it warm after the uh, program ends. 12 hours. As you can see right here, this is the exhaust valve. And we have this exhaust valve closed. When we open this to steam right there, the steam will come out of there. This is your float valve. When that float valve is all the way open, that is when the actual cooking is started. And we're beginning to see a little bit of steam right now. And it is 947, 48. So a matter of six minutes, we've got steam. 
and it doesn't take long to where you're getting more steam and that thing is going to uh, the float valve is going to pop up and lock I'm just going to leave this on the video so you can actually see how it does it again it's 949 we've had seven minutes of cooking so far It will actually pop up and seal it, and there will be no more steam. It will all be inside doing the cooking. You can see it popping up and down. And as you see, it popped up and there's no more steam coming out. And once this gets to temperature, you'll see a countdown. I'll show it to you when it gets there. There's our countdown. We have 20 minutes. And it is 9.52. We'll be back when it's, when it's cooked. And here we are at the uh, end of it there and you notice how it automatically goes into a uh, keep warm that's gonna that's gonna hit, go ahead and keep it warm but I just want to show you uh, right now we we know it's done now the first thing you're gonna do is be careful when you do that and you vent it okay you're gonna let all that pressure vent to the atmosphere that's inside that that cooker you do not want to open this lid until you vent it out. And the way you'll know when there's no more pressure in this pressure cooker is our float valve right there will go down to the normal position as it was when we was cooking it. And you'll see it go down. I'm going to leave this video on here to show you. But again, never open the lid without depressurizing it. Most of them are built with a safety feature I do believe I know it will make noise if you start to open it but that isn't really a safety feature that's just letting you know it's going to open but uh, always remember to vent it and it's taken approximately uh, a minute and 30 seconds to uh, to vent and it pops down. Now you're okay to uh, open your pressure cooker. Again, use caution. You hear that noise, it letting you know it's open and there will be steam that comes out. But that's your final product right there. And I'll show you what this chicken looks like. You See how it's got the color? I like that color. And what's these potatoes? This comes right apart. I want to thank you all for watching my video of using this uh, pressure cooker that I bought at Walmart, and uh, I recommend it very highly. And uh, let me know your feedback once you uh, get one and cook. I'd like to hear about it. Thank you. Have a safe day. And remember, while you're cooking, God's looking through your eyes. Are you showing them a good time?